the Dollar Tree announced their earnings the other day and price collapsed almost twenty dollars on the day however for the bulls price is nearing a major resistance support area at the 120 level however before we continue with the analysis let's look at this article it is coming from Yahoo Finance Dollar Tree added locked cases removing items from stores amid rising theft cost Dollar Tree said Thursday it is taking steps to combat a growing problem across the retail space shoplifting or as they call shrink as the industry calls it the value retailers stock sank more than 12% on Thursday after posting a weaker than expected forecast and a decline in gross margins due to a customer shift towards consumables and elevated shrink unfortunately the headwinds were having in shrink are mute muting our margins right now the CEO said Jeff Davis as he spoke to analysts on the earnings call on Thursday so when it comes to shrinkage shrinkage hurts margins um, as an example the company's gross margins of 29.2 percent in the latest quarter declined 220 basis points from the same period last year and we're shy of consensus expectations of 29.7 percent now you know this is uh, off 0.5 percent but when you're talking uh, millions tens of millions of dollars that adds up an unfavorable sales mix as consumers continue to spend more on low margin perishables is also impacting Dollar Tree's bottom line you see across the retail landscape people are moving more into consumables and we are not immune to that the CEO said we're now taking ste taking steps defensive steps t to shrinkage the CEO said I do not see any trouble to getting to more realistic margin levels in response to the company's plan to introduce anti-theft initiatives including moving certain items behind the checkout stand and moving some SKUs all together all right this is an issue across the nation across all retailers um, before we continue with the analysis let's look at this quick video coming from Yahoo themselves forecast it also saw its inventory hit by theft that's a concern for many of the retailers that have been reporting this season including Dick's Sporting Goods and Target those shares down some 10 percent here it's interesting because on the call uh, CEO Rick Dryling said that Dollar Tree is positioned to bring in wealthier shoppers that's something that uh, Walmart had talked about as well but if if your costs are going up then you know that doesn't necessarily help matters yeah for a company that's focused on keeping everything below or around a dollar they've added in terms of the kind of pricing mechanisms and trying to also welcome some higher uh, income shoppers they've added three dollar four dollar and five dollar frozen and refrigerated items to uh, a little over sixteen hundreds uh, 1600 of their Dollar Tree stores they also are in a heavy kind of spending phase and if you think back to um, Adrian Yi, who joined us earlier this week to talk about where companies are making some of these strategic investments and how that could impact margins in the near term they're looking at these store renovation projects they completed about 267 uh, or 276 rather of them in this most recent quarter but those renovation projects I think for investors they're gonna be looking across all right where do we get to the completion rate uh, where do we get to the completion stage of that and see the benefits on the other side uh, and at the same time where they're expanding some of their multi price plus offerings to 715 additional dollar stores as well right and they're also spending more on wages apparently they're yeah. selling general and administrative costs 25.3 percent of total revenue it was 24 percent a mm. year earlier the second quarter excuse me third quarter forecast for earnings per share is at most a dollar four analysts have been looking for a dollar twenty nine so prices entering on the monthly chart this resistance support band uh, let's take a little closer look let's scroll down to the weekly chart and what I see on the weekly chart is just price making lower highs Now when I look at the weekly chart, I do see a gap. So let's put a line. 
Now all gaps get filled at some point. Now this gap signifies there is no buyers in this area. So the only thing that's protecting this 120 level is what was previous resistance. So the 120 level is an interesting level because you have a gap but you do have previous resistance. Alright, let's go down to the daily chart. And we're going to use the rule of three. After earnings, wait for three days just to get some type of indication of where uh, price is heading next. Now technically, personally I would want to wait. Price is at 124.44. I would want to wait for a couple dollars lower. Again, key level being 120. Retail's not looking great this time of of year, although you are entering the holiday season. Consumers are um, scrutinizing their wallets, but you also have to deal with this theft across the nation. However, things can get interesting if price gets down to this. 115 level again that's where the gap fill is I'll be watching Dollar Tree along with other retailer stocks uh, over the next couple of weeks and we'll provide an update thanks for watching subscribe please like the video